How Humanity Creates a Sustainable World. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 162. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 162, May 1st, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written content for the Courage lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of courage is now 25% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the second 25% of the written part of the courage lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the summer lesson plan, bringing it to one quarter complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This last week on Highest Good Food, we found and added this great video to the Aquapini Wallapini Open Source Hub and the Aquapini and Wallapini Planting and Harvesting pages. It shows a working example of a passive greenhouse in Nebraska, demonstrating what will be possible with our open source Aquapini Wallapini designs. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also finalized the planting plan specifics image for the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bag Village, Pod 1. Then the core team added both versions of this image to the website. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was writing up the narrative for Section 13 Subterranean Exterior Ground Finish of Polyethylene Water Barrier and EPS Insulation, and creating the narrative for Section 15 Final Backfill. Further steps were also added to Section 10 Stem Wall and Dome Construction. We'd say we are now 79% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, continued designing and exploring different loft sleeping area options for the living structures for this village. This week's focus was on designs for skylights and shelving behind and below the bed. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 17 of this work that included placing the natural and do-it-yourself constructed outdoor water feature and beginning work on a cord wood chair design. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also began working on converting our custom and do-it-yourself Earth Bag Village Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions from the Google Doc format we have them in now to professional and simplified instructions made in SolidWorks. What you see here is iteration 1.0 with pictures from the Google Doc and the beginnings of his SolidWorks plans. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began the rendering work for the Tropical Atrium. This rendering preparation process included setting up the shadows and background and applying the texture material for the trees, water, windows, rock walls, and wood panels. You can see the first rendering of this image here. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also began working on updating the city center AutoCAD drawings with column placement specifics shown here. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also began working on switchboard placement for lights, fans, sockets, and power outlets. Neha Verma, construction, project manager, and bachelors of architecture, also created these 3D generation designs for the basement and root cellar for the city center. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also began working on updated render scenes for the city center rental room, loft in the social dome, and dining area by the kitchen. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion for the development of the control system's main panel. This week's focus was having Lucas build the same prototype in Brazil to test if it worked the same as Mike's, results of our ongoing survey from the control systems page, and additional edits and updates that both Mike and Lucas helped with for the web page. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team completed a final round of edits on our master plan concept map for the property and added this map to our overview, methodology, property, and highest good housing pages. Jonathan Deacentis, graphic designer and web developer, additionally took the work of Miriam Sargassen, graphic designer and project manager, and began further development of our Highest Good Network logo, as shown here. Really what this is all about is about how humanity creates a sustainable world. One community has spent a lot of time thinking about this, designing a model, a plan, a strategy, specifically built to teach people how humanity creates a sustainable world. And our idea is if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and if we demonstrate sustainability and living sustainably as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own and ultimately spread on its own to the point through a self-replicating model that we will achieve a sustainable civilization and a sustainable world. Our primary foundation for all of this is open source and free shared do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. What we're doing is creating an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability components with emotional sustainability components. The physical sustainability components are food, energy, and housing, which most people are familiar with, and the emotional sustainability components that have been identified are high school education, high school economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Putting both of these together to build a prototype model that will provide a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And through this model, we'll teach how humanity creates a sustainable world by providing a way of living that we call, well, we have affectionately called selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. Our idea is to build a bridge between pragmatism and idealism by creating a way of living that most people find to be superior to the way that they're living right now, make it easy and affordable enough, demonstrate it's attractive enough, and that whole model, because it's created with a consciousness for the highest good of all, is designed to improve the world, even if people do it for entirely selfish reasons. See, we know that through a model like this, we're capable of creating a sustainable plant within our lifetime, because if you run the numbers on creating just one community of 50 people, just 50 people, and we want to grow to 5,000 people, but if we create one community of 50 people, we invite people to participate, they like what they see, and that generates two additional communities the next year, and that generates four additional communities, starts four additional communities next year, just of 50 people, and then eight, then 16, 32, 64, and you continue this process. In less than three decades, we could actually transform our entire planet into a sustainable one. And people say, well, how is that possible? There's so much diversity, so many different things that people want. What about metropolitan areas, etc.? The idea is to create a model and a way of living built on highest good philosophies 
that is adaptable and modifiable to individual needs, individual values, and let humanity do the rest. All successful ideas have followed this model. They become affordable enough, attractive enough, and easy enough that people implement them on their own. And so we think it's time to create a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that can be replicated anywhere in the world designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. A solution model specifically purposed to create additional solution creating models. Invite people to participate. Invite people to get involved. Invite people to come and visit. If they like what they see, they can take it and replicate it anywhere in the world. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if the idea of how humanity creates a sustainable world is something that you would like to be a part of, we invite you to get involved. We've got lots of different ways to do that from the pioneer members that will build one community and operate one community, invite people to visit and experience it, to the volunteers operating behind the scenes, sharing their expertise, their knowledge, their know-how to help participate, just volunteering hours to keep us moving forward. Everybody that works for one community is a nonprofit volunteer. None of us are paid. And we're doing this because we want to live this way, because we believe in a better future, because we believe that we are the ones that, we want it, that we're waiting for, and we know that we're capable of creating it. And so one community has laid out the specifics, the details, all the plans on our website for how to do that. Now, if joining as a partner or a volunteer or a consultant is more than you'd like to do, the easiest way to help us out is just to share our information on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, share information on all the different social media networks that we're on, and we are on all of them, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Reddit, Sue, all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information or share our information with people you might know for large-scale funding. We're not putting a lot of energy into seeking large-scale funding right now, but we do still need large-scale funding. We're looking for the funding to help us get the property off the market so that we then take our whole open-source building and creation process to the next level and start doing the details that we can't do until we own that property. Specifically, and first, disclosing the location. Sharing that so people understand where we're going to build one community, why it's the perfect location for one community, how easy it will be for people to visit, and why people want to visit that location as we're building the infrastructure. Why it won't take 10 years for people to come and experience one community. Why it won't even take a year for people to come and experience one community. This is our idea. Create a self-sufficient, self-replicating, sustainable model that people will want to replicate. Demonstrate it's easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, and put it out there as something that people can come and experience. If they like it, they can help replicate it, or they can replicate it in their own way, adapt it, change it, and create a sustainable planet within our lifetime. That's it. This is what we're doing. Food, energy, housing, education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, true earth stewardship, putting all those things together to create a world that truly works for everybody. So if you possess the consciousness for the highest good of all, if you would like to be a part of this, then we invite you to join us. And there's lots of different ways to do that. And uh, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations we get. Those are a big deal because we are a completely unpaid volunteer staff. So those little donations help us cover our web fees and everything else for running a global organization like ours. Thank you for the shares on social media. Thank you for the emails that we get, the comments. And thank you for watching this video. We'll continue to do what we do as we continue to teach people how to humanity creates a sustainable world one step at a time, taking all the different components, putting them together, and ultimately building one community as a prototype that you can come and visit and experience and see for yourself. This is what we're all about. Thanks.